So let us talk about uh, CMMI. What is CMMI? CMMI. This is Capability Maturity Model Integration. This I is for integration. And this is a proven industry framework to improve product quality. Let us see this. Uh, there are very important words which we need to see. First of all, to improve a product quality and then development efficiency for both hardware and software. So not only hardware, CMI also talk about software. And this is sponsored by CMI is sponsored by USDOD in cooperation with uh, Carnegie Mellon University and the Software Engineering Institute SEI. And many other companies and giant companies are involved in CMI definition such as Motorola and Ericsson. So CMI has uh, been established as a model to improve the business results. Right? Now CMI, uh, there are five stages. So it uses five levels to describe the maturity of the organization. Same as the predecessor CMM. That is why I emphasize on this I because CMM was there and then I was added. CMI I for integrated. So we have this CMI which is vastly improved version of CMM. And the emphasis uh, uh, is on business needs, integration and institutionalization. So how can CMMI help? What difference does it have from others? CMMI provides a way to focus and manage hardware and software development from product inception through the deployment and maintenance, right? From inception to till the maintenance. So ISO TL9000 are still required. That means CMMI interfaces very well with them. CMM and TL are they are complementary that is both are needed since they address different aspects. ISO TL9000 is a process compliance standard while this CMMI is a process improvement model. Right? ISO says that compliance or adherence to certain standards, certain process uh, should be there while CMMI says that we talk about process improvement. So this is process improvement model. These are the various stages of CMMI and five maturity levels are there. From initial that is in the organization, the processes, ISO and CMMI, they both talk about processes. So in uh, and a company which is level one, that is CMMI level one, the processes are unpredictable. That is, they are poorly controlled or reactive. In managed, processes are planned, documented, and performed, monitored, and controlled at the project level. So, or they are often reactive. Then comes to define. So, processes are well characterized and understood. Uh, processes, standards, procedures, tools, etc., are defined at the organization level. That is, they are proactive. And then comes the level four, which is quantitatively managed. These uh, our processes are controlled and using statistical and other quantitative techniques. And you know, you know then comes the optimized or optimizing the process performance continually improved through incremental and innovative technology improvements. So you can learn it like this, IMD and QO, right? Then comes, uh, we start with our maturity level one, initial. So in this level, uh, it deals with uh, performed processes, means processes are unpredictable, poorly controlled, reactive. So the process performance may not be stable and may not meet specific objectives such as quality, cost and schedule. But they are useful, you know, but the useful work can be done but not in that manner which uh, is sought. The maturity uh, level 2 that is managed. So it deals with the uh, managed processes. So a managed process is a is performed process that is also that is planned and employ skills people, adequate resources are available, controlled outputs are produced, stakeholders are involved, 
and the process is reviewed and evaluated for the adherence to the requirement. And the processes are uh, planned, documented and performed, monitored and controlled at the project level of a reactor and the managed process comes closer to achieving the specific objectives such as quality, cost and schedule. Then coming to uh, maturity level 3, it is defined at the organization level. This was maturity level 1, it is initial. Then maturity level 2 manage means project level and then comes the organizational level. This means the maturity level 3 defines deals with the defined processes. A defined process is, uh, is a managed process that well defined, understood, deployed and executed across the entire organization. Means processes, standards, procedure, tools, etc. are defined at the organizational level. Project uh, or local tailoring is allowed, however, it must be based on the organizational set of standard process defined by the organizational tailoring guidelines. So major portions of the organization cannot opt out, right? So this is the uh, third level. So behavior at the, the at these five levels are, you know, uh, at uh, these are the process levels, these are the behavior. At initial level, the processes are unpredictable, poorly controlled and reactive. The focus is on fire fit fighting means just do it. We need to do it. The frustration is high. While in managed process is characterized for projects and is often reactive for projects. So over reliance on experience of good people where they when they go, the process goes, means you know, relying on just one or two people, a few people. Then defined means the process is characterized for the organization and is proactive. That is reliance on defined process. People understand, support and follow the process and quantitatively managed means process is measured and controlled. Create a sense of teamwork and interdependency and optimizing means focus is on continuous quantitative improvement means focus on fire prevention means not fire fighting but fire prevention improved anticipated and anticipated and desired and impacts are assist, assist. So the Continuous improvement, quantitative improvement is employed at optimizing. So semi components within each of the five majority levels, there are basic functions that need to perform and these are called process areas from majority level two. Uh, there are seven process area that must be completely satisfied for majority level three. There are 11 process areas that must be completely satisfied and given the interaction and overlap, it becomes more efficient to work uh, the maturity level 2 and 3 issues concurrently and within each this uh, process area there are goals to be achieved and within each goals there are practices. In pr process this PA we have goals in this goals we have practices and what products etc to be followed that will support each of the goals. These are the CMI process area or PA um, you know uh, at initial stage nothing at managed state, project management means project planning, project monitoring, control, supply agreement. Uh, engineering means requirement management, then there is nothing in this process management. While at support, measurement and analysis, process and product quality assurance and configuration management is there. While at third level, defined level, uh, integrated project management, risk management is there, engineering right from requirement to validation, verification, then process management is organization process focus, process definition, training, and decision analysis and resolution. Quantitatively managed means quantitative project management and organizational process performance. While optimizing, we have organizational innovation deployment, cash, uh, you know, casual analysis and uh, uh, resolution. So, what is the cause? What is the resolution? This on is covered. Then this is the CVMI uh, terminology and structure. We have this um, at each level, that is from level one to five, we have these are the process areas, these are the specific goals, and these are the required common across all process areas. Uh, these are the information, specific practices which needs to be followed. Uh, and all these things we have already discussed, but this is a you know structure, structural form which I wanted to just highlight. And uh, for example, for the requirement management process area, an example 
this goal will say you have this manage requirements an example practice will be uh, f- to support this goal uh, will be maintain bidirectional traceability of requirements and uh, you know for for typical word products for example it might be requirement traceability matrix or requirement tracking system so this was a uh, basic idea about cmm thank you so much take care